Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about this beautiful eye-catching stone, snowflake obsidian. No one can argue with nature. Nature speaks for itself. Nature is so beautiful. Sometimes I get so mesmerized at how nature can so carefully arrange itself in such an organized fashion to the point where it blows our socks off. It's just so beautiful, mother nature and nature by itself that we just have to bow down in total respect. Nature is so beautiful. Look at this stone. It's just, what can we say? It is so beautiful. You know, um, obsidian is not technically a crystal. It is formed from volcanic lava that quickly comes up from under the earth and solidifies to form some form of volcanic glass. Snowflake obsidian, on the other hand, especially the whitish parts of this stone, is a mineral that's caught up in that volcanic lava as it comes out just before the obsidian solidifies. The mineral, this white mineral, crystallizes and it's caught up to form snowflake obsidian. So, I have learned something very, very important about from this stone. Stones are always speaking, and even the way the stone is formed speaks a lot. When there's a heated, volatile situation, like molten lava that's coming up in your life and spewing out, remember, it can quickly solidify to form a substance. So this stone has taught me, number one, volatile and heated situations can quickly cool down. Things don't need to get out of hand when something unexpected and abrupt and volatile and heated or something that he hits you from, you know, from the left when you are really, really not expecting it happens. Remember that that situation can cool down instantly to form something special. And just like this white substance here, that forms the snowflake obsidian. What is the energy that will be caught up before that situation cools down in your life? So this has taught me, the formation of snowflake obsidian has taught me that there are certain minerals or certain situations or certain attitudes that we must have that when a volatile situation is happening in your life, you better be caught up in the right kind of energy so that the end result, which is like a snowflake obsidian, will be good for you, will be beautiful. This stone has such an important message because as we go on through our lives or as I go on through my life, certain things happen. And I'm always constantly reminded that I have to be, which I always choose to be, in the highest form of love that I can be under every given circumstance. And trust me, it's not easy. It's not easy to be constantly on point with how I want things to happen in my life. And sometimes I do get caught up in different situations, but Snowflake Obsidian is teaching me that sometimes the end result of who I am being in a particular moment when situations are heated and hot and unexpected produce results that are not good for me. At other times, when situations are heated and volatile and abrupt, the energy that I'm, I'm, I am is when, by the time the whole situation solidifies, is one that is beautiful. And at every given moment, the choice is mine. What is the kind of energy that I'm carrying on or that I'm going to be wrapped up in when the situation has cooled down? So that's the first important lesson. The lesson is volatile situations cool down pretty fast. Stones are always speaking. And if you're working with a stone and you have a stone like snowflake obsidian, that could be one of the lessons that it can help you understand based on how the stone is formed. Situations are volatile, 
They're very hot, they're very heated, but remember with discipline and some kind of maturity and understanding of how things are reflected in our lives and how we impact other people. We can choose to be in the right kind of energy so that by the time this, uh, the situation cools down, there's a beautiful thing that emerges from the whole process. Another thing that I have learned from this beautiful stone, oh, by the way, this is a tumbly, a tumble stone of snowflake obsidian, and I'm also wearing a bracelet of snowflake of obsidian. So, so beautiful. Okay, so another thing that I have learned from this beautiful stone is that in every dark situation, they, they, there's obviously different kinds of unique circumstances that can unfold from every situation. So this stone is also teaching me, because it's a grounding stone, because it solidifies very fast, it grounds us very fast, that no matter what we're experiencing, there, there's always a unique way of looking at situations. These are snowflakes, and it's been scientifically proven that snowflakes have a unique geometrical shape or pattern. Everything is unique. So no matter what situation one is facing, however dark, however deep down the situation is, there is a unique way to look at the situation. So one should never ever feel trapped. Try to think outside the box. Try to think outside the ordinary when you're in a dark situation. And there's always going to be a unique snowflake somewhere showing you a unique light and a different light to set you free from whatever hot and volatile situation you're in. So, that's another thing. Then snowflake, obviously, obsidian has also taught me about the grounding effect. It's, uh, um, you know, black originally. You know, the base of it is, is black, but it's also very grounding and very protective in its nature. But the most important thing that I've learned, as I've told you before, is this is definitely my go-to stone for heated and volatile situations and, and circumstances. And I would like to know how you guys use your snowflake obsidian. Of course, there's always a variety of ways to look at things, but like I say, stones always speak to us and everybody has a different experience with us, their stones. And stones will always tell you what you need to know for your particular situation. So I would like to hear how you guys use snowflake obsidian, such a beautiful stone. And maybe just by exchanging our ideas, we can broaden the perspective of how this stone has been super useful in our lives. So do you have a snowflake obsidian? Let me know how you use it, and let's spread the love. Let's always remember situations can cool down pretty fast. No need to overreact or be super excited because we are love, and when the situation cools down, it better be in the right kind of energy. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.